Hello, my friends. Oh, welcome back to the uh, one and only mod. We're going to Media right, Blitz. This is going to be a mission where the Odin doesn't doesn't matter if it dies because it's not it's not going to live very long. It's going to do its best, but uh, we're going to. In the Dominion Security Network. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we can't get out of here. Oh, we got an email from the Odin. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's Dang, Jimmy. Are those... <laughs> he didn't even get a shot off. I just clicked the button. He didn't even fire. Odin has gone rogue. Repeat, Odin has gone rogue. Bring it down. Attention, Rogue. This is General Warfield. The game literally can't deal with this. It is... <laughs> you can't lose the Odin that fast. It's beautiful. What a start. What a beginning to this mission. Now we have to fight all the people fully armed and operational. That's horrifying. Dominion switched to a secure channel. I can't track their position. Okay. Anymore. Um Here we go. <laughs> there's there's some real toughies in this campaign near the end, aren't there? I don't want the mission mod sale. I don't need all that stuff. Blah 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 blah. I keep saying it because I'm sure there's someone that doesn't remember or whatever. It, it is how it is, you know. New random stuff like that every time. We gotta, gotta be clear about. Now, the Thor is gonna be one of the worst anti-ground units imaginable because the Thor has this really long wind up on its attack, which means that it's never gonna be able to shoot. However, it's anti-air is actually moderately snappy. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the Thor up as a defensive piece in order to help deal with those air units. And then we're going to start getting some air units of our own, I think. We're going to need siege tanks. We're going to need... We're going to need some decent stuff. I actually think that we want this over here. We'll uh, put a couple Marines in this bunker. Let's get a... Let's get a sensor tower in order to check out what is incoming from where. I think that with everybody active, we have to be very, very careful with these incoming attack waves. Because as we have noticed, the Terran stuff crushes through. It is really, really, really tough to deal with. So we're going to... We're going to play it super safe against them. And yeah, Siege Tank is going to be the answer. I think we're going to have to fortify this entire area before we actually do anything. And then we're going to creep this way and start moving. Gotcha. And then hopefully move over here and take this area as well. I think that taking all the bases early is going to be powerful. I don't want to say it's integral, but it kind of feels like it's going to be very, very important. I'm getting some ravens because we can drop to point defense drones. I think those will be good. Of course, they don't work against everything, remember. They don't work against hit scan stuff, which means the enemies like Marines, not so much, but enemies like the Banshee, gonna be great against, or the Raven, anything like that. And that means that over here, these airwaves are gonna be very, very easy. I believe it even works against the battle cruiser. Found him. Oh, that split, that split is devastating, actually. That, uh, the fact that the enemy split up there is the worst thing that has ever happened in human history. Um, things could have gone okay. They chose not to. We had our tank up. Oh my goodness. That was even worse than I thought it was going to be. I'm really glad we have this, uh, rapid build upgrade. <laughs> so, let's try this again. Okay, so we have a bunker. And we have no infrastructure. I, I don't want to be... Debbie the Defeatist, because, you know, defeatism is for cowards. Well, this is going to be a heck of a mission, isn't it? <laughs> let's try... Let's try this again. We might need a bunker on this side. But we got to get a barracks first. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, like, surprised that that's what happened. I'm just a little bit... Sad. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know when the first attack comes on this mission, because usually the Odin accidentally's it, you know what I mean? 
a lot of missions have these attack waves that you're like, yeah, okay. I have to deal with this at this time. Then the next thing, then the next thing, and then the next thing. But this is just one of those missions where a lot of the stuff gets odined. A lot of the infrastructure is dead from the start. Those sorts of things can be a real problem. And... Hmm. That's just the bunker. I saw a little doohickey and I didn't want to... I didn't want to get blasted. Fortunately, we have money. I'm going to get... A second one of these. So we just dealt with an attack wave. This looks like a Viking corpse. You can see the Gatling gun there. So factory base is next. I think that the factory base comes from this side. So we're going to drop a couple of these. And yeah. I know I'm trying to go not very marine heavy, but I think that in the world where the enemy also has marines, it is unavoidable. Right? To some extent. You're just going to have to fight fire with fire. If they're playing dirty by making the most basic unit in the game, we're going to have to be just as bad of people. And I'm okay with that. Lots and lots of tanks. We do have a lot of workers. If we can grab this base, that will be good. I'm a little bit afraid of, like, the stuff because it all rallies up here. Which is really, really annoying. Hmm. Wait, did I not get... <laughs> I remember talking about the upgrade at the end of the last episode for Tech Reactor. I must have not upgraded it, or I loaded the wrong save. Because the checkpoints that Blizzard automatically makes are right after the thing. It doesn't really matter that much for this mission. But in the future, I'm going to have to be ready for that. So... What we can do is we can set up a siege push here, use scans in order to take this down real easy. As long as we have double tank fire, it take the bunker out in one and then take the people inside out in the second shot. That sounds okay. And then after we do that, we can try to... Okay, that's vulture. That's tank. Go, 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 go. Got him. Okay, that's why you have the sensor tower. If that guy had been just permanently sieged in a good position, it would have been horrible. Absolutely awful to fight. But because we had those uh, that sensor tower there, we're actually okay. Now, I'm going to get a couple more orbitals. I think this is going to be a big scan game. We don't need to power these out real quick, and I think we're going to hold off on mules for a little bit as we get everything going, but... Here, you here, in there. We still got a lot of Marines to get. And then we're going to get a couple starports as well. Just going to get two of these. That is one more for this location. Let's see... I think that we want to wait for the infantry attack before we move out. There's definitely going to be an infantry attack, right? And until that happens, we just chill. I even want more orbitals than this, I think. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but like... I just, you know, it's how TVT is played in the late game, right? You just scan, 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 because there's nothing else you can do. Nothing you scan do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it wasn't funny, but it was funny to me. Oh, big attack. I love you, Mr. Sensor Tower. I love you. How did the Reapers even get over there? <laughs> like, this way, up, around, and down. Sure. Raven Goo. You guys gonna move on as well, and I'm just gonna keep those right there. Honestly, I think that the cost of having those bunkers is pretty low, all things considered. And then we go over here. And then this area has to be giga fortified. This is non-negotiable. 
Let's see. Set that up in range. Perfect. That won't grief me anymore. We still might just not take the uh, gas guys are over here. I guess it's an auto gas. It's probably not the biggest thing in the world. It's just, it can be real annoying when the enemy, every time they attack, they're going to kill it. Okay, Vikings, Raven, and this Raven wants to be over here. You guys want to be in siege and mode. And then you, sir, can go this way. I'm feeling okay, given how much damage we took early on. We, you can really turtle against Terran. That is the thing. Is, they're hard to bust, but so are we. Oh my. Good positioning. Get out of here. Okay, so the Vikings went onto the high ground and then they landed, which was actually a pretty cool play. Uh, I think they normally do that, but it really was effective there. Okay, we have the tanks going. So I'm considering Wraith as my pushing composition now that we have the defense. I kind of feel like Wraith might be the next stage to the plan. We're not going to be able to afford that many of them. Because we're actually just going to get, like, supply capped eventually. But that's okay. Let's go. Liberate the science. Couple of these. And, yeah, Wraith Viking. Here we go. Wraith Viking Raven. Hmm. Everybody likes some of that. Science Ahoy. So we want all these over here, and then we're going to try to push this to the other direction. Because I feel like this is safe, he says, as he wishes he had high ground vision. Maybe we just move this Viking over here, it'll be okay. I just want to make sure this lip is covered. Seems good. I like this truck. He's really trying his best. He's like, I gotta get my delivery done. <laughs> and we'll just pre-drop that. These last for three whole minutes, which is very, very long. Oh. That's the factory group. We should be able to win this duel. Got it. And I think that means it's time to push. That was great. Here we go. Siege is up. I'm trying not to waste money because I want to build a lot of static defense over at this base. Just a bajillion turrets because they come with so much air. And the turrets will die, but I think they're worth it. Because the enemy comes from like weird angles, right? They're, they're going to hit from here and here. Like, it, it can be very frustrating. But I think we are, once again... Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna siege up. I'm gonna drop this in preparation. And then we're just gonna bring a bunch of these guys over here. Get the auto gases, and of course get the Tisselmerts. So I think that they just can't bust these real easy. Right? Rude. I don't know why what you shot or why you shot it, but it was very rude. Yeah, I like this. And we should be looking at a pretty good Wraith fleet wherever I put them. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what's the Wraith build time? 50 seconds? Come on, game. What did the Wraith ever do to you?
I think that this guy is doing well enough that we can set him to a tech lab and then you guys right here and save up minerals. Uh, we're actually going to get more orbitals for more scans. And I, it's like, we're going to lose these bases eventually to something, so might as well be prepared. But yes, I feel fortified in a way that I... Sorry, sir. Go ahead, command. Get him. I was hoping his percentage chance to live would activate and he'd look really cool, but he didn't. That's okay. All right, Wraiths it is. I guess we want to bring a couple Ravens and they will activate point defense drones as I engage detection. That actually makes a lot of sense. Then we can deal with these. A little bit of an annoying position there. I do like that Warfield's AI is good enough to put his Vikings on annoying places, even if it's not like the most intentional AI thing. It's still really cool to play against. It's good map design. Okay, so there's a turret over here, turret over there. Point defense drone right here, and then pull this guy back. And we're really not losing much at this point. Man, I am so tickled that at the very beginning of this run, I was like, you know what? I think the Wraith is going to be a good unit. And then it's good, man. Like, truly, truly, this is a clear that I feel like would have been really hard with most anything else. Scan. You wish you could turn invisible. When they die, they do die a lot. I will, I will give them that. And they do not build fast, but that's okay. Let's uh get a couple bunkers over here for these guys, just in case the factory base decides to be a nuisance. And then we're gonna get a detection tower over here as well. So what do we got for this final little bit of the base? We have a turret right here that needs to die. Some Reapers and a couple hit scan guys. That's pretty easy. We can set the point defense drone right there. You guys come on up. We're just going to cloak like two of them. And then we're good. So we clear this out, and then we can take a couple SCVs to start the final bit. Oh, that's not a guy. <laughs> Gotta make sure everyone's safe, including the point defense drones. I wonder how possible this, uh, this mod is to do Deathless. <laughs> is that the dumbest thing I've ever said? I feel like it might be, but it could be kind of fun. Probably not 100% clear, but we could we could probably get to all in. I don't know. It seems hard, dude. But it would be it'd be interesting. Oh man, if I could do that, that'd be legendary, wouldn't it? What a dumb dumb thing that's crossing my mind right here. I know there's the the eternal meme of every single thing that I ever try is, "Hey Grant, could you do that deathless?" But this would be it would be next level. I guess you wouldn't be able to do this mission, Hawk, huh? because there's no save in the Odin. Strike Team Charlie, get to that tower. Bring down those rebels. Transmit core. Strike Team Charlie, we're gonna have to hit them critically. Go ahead, command. <laughs> Roger. Unironically, raids are actually really good at this part. Like, <laughs> even in normal gameplay. I'm going to take these Vikings, and I'm going to bring them over here, just as part of the defense. 
And then we're going to start working on this second base. Nailed it. First transmission uploaded. Even Manx won't be able to wriggle out of this one. Let's see. Income you are off the hotkey. You're on again. the hotkey. Get away with this. Rainer. Huh. We have this to take down the turrets here. first. This is... It's... It really is cool. Okay, so I feel like we are really scouting and reacting like surgical strikes on Core Hall's defenses, which just feels right for the mission, you know? Like, we can't engage the Terran Capital Planet straight up, so what we have to do is get in here with these stealthy units and just very slowly dismantle them. It's awesome. Look at how powerful the Dominion is. It's a stirring symbol. We've been stirred, guys. Order accepted. Not shaken. Transmit coordinates. Go ahead, command. Okay. Oh, we got that, that. That's an easy one. This is an easy one. That's easy. This yeah, I think the remainder are fine. I have no idea how that raven managed to... Oh. Reporting in. Oh, there was an attack wave. Just bad luck. <laughs> Okay, that is what it is. Reporting in. How are you doing? They're building up some stuff, but it's not too bad. This guy is just going to dodge all the shots, and he's going to take down all these turrets. Watch. Got it. What a guy. I don't think we've actually seen one properly dodge. <laughs> but I want it to work. This one is going to dodge one of the shots. Oh, come on. Watch as this where we, is where we learn the displacer field just doesn't actually work. <laughs> and it's been a lie, but Razor's so bad no one could tell. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be, like, the greatest ending? Okay, now I'm getting suspicious. It is wall cloaked, right? Yeah. How many guys Roger. can I lose to a missile turret? I I really want to... Because we've lost like five or six in a row, and that's not that unreasonable. But eventually it'll get to the point of statistically very unlikely. As we continue these foolhardy attempts. I couldn't tell if it got that one. Well, this is a thing of beauty, isn't it? Does this remind you of being a kid and using the cheat codes in order to make your, uh... Make your Starcraft 1 Wraiths go and kill everything? Because that's sure what's it's, what it is evoking for me. Let's see, Ravens this way. Lots more Wraiths. Oh. Oh, I see me. Here, but you, nope. Okay, you live there. Wait, wait. It's very easy to get out. <laughs> of course. Oh my goodness. You're gonna go up here. You guys are gonna go right here, and the Vikings are gonna go. Oh, or the, whatever these are called. Seems good to me. I don't think we need all these over here. We can cloak on this side. I don't know where the Vikings come from. I've never, like, thought about it before. Oh, they come from right over there. Nice. And these just come from the street. Reaper Street. Oh, blimp. Wait, they use propellers? Mangsk. I thought this was the future. The only unit that's supposed to have propellers are the Banshee. And that's so they can fly in space. <laughs> that's StarCraft science. We're almost done transmitting Mink's dirty little secret. Okay, we only got one more to go. I'm gonna I am gonna send these guys one by one into the turrets until we have determined that they're not dodging attacks. 
I want to see it happen once. Because it feels That's like high. it's just never proccing. And 20% is not that low. Oh, wait. Do turrets do double shot? Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I that, that part slipped my mind. They do fire a double shot, so the odds of them actually dodging, very low. In StarCraft 1, they do a single shot, I believe, with their missiles. I don't remember. I got my I got my games a little bit confused and as a result. Yeah, actually the number of single shot anti-air attacks that would be testable are very low. <laughs> it would be pretty tough to tell. I'm gonna assume it does work. So the area is now secure. What this means is we can unsiege all these, get these free, and same with these. And then we'll bring everybody to the end of this mission. And that should be that. If we need more than this, I don't know what you're what you're expecting. We'll get him, guys. I'm gonna do a little bit over here. A little bit over here. We're gonna siege up some tanks. We're gonna get these guys over here. Yeah, perfect. A little more to the left, Johnny. Yeah, siege right there. Then. Stop taking it so serious. Security here we go. At one of the towers. Strike team alpha, engage. I think we just camp Stop. everything here. Love point defense drones for uh, insurance. Yeah, we can keep some of those on siege. I don't think anything's ever going to land, though, because we are just in position to deal with it. And even if it does, it's going to get vaporized. I think we did really well on this mission. Uh, the beginning was real spooky. But then, uh, once again, when I started taking it serious and made sure that everything went right, it, uh, gave me kind of nightmare vibes. I remember doing this mission on Nightmare, it just being insane. That's the last and, uh, but you Let's just, you have to turtle so hard to make it, now. to make it work. But we turtled. All transmissions have been sent, sir. Thank you. That's great, Matthew. Mira is going to be so happy with you. Let's, uh, buy the Thor upgrade? I, oh, the, this could be kind of good. Being able to target it at an area, I actually think has some legit value. Yeah, I think that that is, the reincarnation protocol doesn't seem like the worst either. Thor upgrade's kind of legit here. Okay, I'll take it. All right, my friends, that is going to be the end of today. That's pretty cool. I think next time we'll be able to do both Super Mission, Supernova, and the Secret Mission. <laughs> We're going to do Super Mission and the Secret Nova. I hope you see you tomorrow. Peace.